Hi, Jeff Morrow here. I'm here with the Beaver Bobcats, and we're, we have a lot of serious subjects to talk about today. Uh, on my right here is Dustin Hawthorne, uh, Danny Miller, Sean Benoit, and Coach Bob Hawthorne. Uh, Beaver, you guys have had a great run here. Um, Sean, I want to go to you first. You guys have had a terrific defensive effort. Uh, I, I, the back checking against South Park was tremendous, uh, and you, you shut down their big guns. Uh, how do you feel about coming into today's game? Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, we'll hold them steady. We'll keep them from coming in, force them wide, try to keep them from getting shots. Well, you're the muscle back there that keeps the, uh, for Hanson in front of that net, so I, I know that you're going to keep, uh, keep it clear today. Uh, Dustin, as, as you know, playing for championships is a lot of fun. Um, and I know you guys are, are, have a great amateur career, and you, you and the, a bunch of these guys. What are you looking for, for in today's game? I'm just looking for a nice, hard-fought game. You know, keep it clean. Hopefully me and the Miller boys can continue what we've been doing, and the rest of the team will just fill in, do what they have to do to win. Uh, Bobby Hawthorne. This has got to be fun for you. Um, this is it. I got to keep you. We, we got a harness over there so you don't jump off that bench. <laughs> but uh, you know, this is fun for the boys. And uh, what are you looking for in, in Pine Richmond? Uh, you know, I look for the typical Pine Richmond team. We're going to try to play a defensive game against us. Um, you know, they're going to be patient, try to capitalize on the mistakes. But we have to be very careful on our on our passes and make sure we don't turn the puck over. And you know, if we're successful in doing that, I think we'll be successful in the game. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I watch a lot of. On this side of my left here, Danny Miller, it looks like he's not even doing anything out there. But I'll tell you what, you find your way in the course these days. And, uh, you, you know, uh, you, we've had a great year. Uh, your line mates, Dustin, and your brother, Dougie, uh, lighten it up. But I'll tell you, your teammates in the last game have, have did a great job in your second and third line. Um, are these guys excited as you are? And what's going on in, in that Beaver locker room? Oh, yeah, our, our whole team excited. We're ready to come out. And, um, yeah, they've really stepped up, up this way, and we're ready. 1991 was the last trip for Beaver uh, in the state championship. Uh, a couple of leftovers were uh, Chris Morgan, I believe, his brother played on that team, or cousin. Uh, and th what would this mean to Beaver to win a state championship? I think it would be huge. You know, we've been waiting for this for a long time. We had a good run at it last year, got knocked out early, so we're just excited to be back. Sean, a lot of seniors on this team. This, you, you grew up with these guys, played a lot of amateur hockey with them. You guys all have pretty much had the same goal? Yeah, we've uh, pretty much try, all tried to get here and try to work as hard as we could. Yeah. And Danny, uh, you know, what, 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 what being with your brother, uh, you know, he looks like the ever ready bunny out there sometimes. Um, you know, uh, what's it mean to you playing with your brother and being a part of this? I love playing with my brother. That's what I'll miss that the most next year if we don't play together. Okay. And, uh, well, Bobby Hawthorne's been coaching many years, and, and Bobby, uh, you've done a great job with this club, and I want to wish you and the boys the best of luck today. Uh, any parting uh, comments? And if, if, what do you think? Uh, what's the cry for Beaver today? Win. Okay. <laughs> great. Thank you very much, guys. You. Wish you the best of luck. Good job. Okay. Thanks, Doug. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to this today's coverage of the Penguin Cup Double A Finals. This afternoon we have the undefeated Pine Richmond Rams and the upstart Beaver Bobcats. I, this is Jeff Morrow alongside Dave Scott. We're bringing you the action with our technical supervisor, Mr. Doug Heck. Young Scotty is our spotter statistician here, and we're ready for some great action. Dave? Uh, Beaver Bobcats, they ride the Miller line. It's Miller time. Doug Danny Miller, uh, Dustin Hawthorne, great line, moved the puck well, and uh, they're going to have a they're going to have a lot of fun tonight. We got Pine Richmond on the other side. Kenny Trombetta, Jeff Cucaruda, and uh, Mr. Doug Cradle. Cradle scored some big goals when they met earlier this season. Cradle scored the game winner in the middle of the second period. Difference in this game. That was a two to one game, by the way. Uh, the Millers are really playing well with, with uh, Dustin Hawthorne, and Pine Richmond's going to have their hands full of that. Uh, yes, they will. The Millers are an excellent tandem, excellent hands, very quick in their feet. Look for a very close game today, Josh. Kenny, on the other side, Kenny Trombetta, Pine Richmond, they play a tough defensive game, and they're waiting for their chances, so we'll see what happens. We're ready to fasten your seatbelts and ready for some action. Trombetta moves in to take the face off. Benoit with a puck for Beaver. He dumps it away. And an offside. 
interesting part about Danny Miller. Uh, Danny's one of the leading scorers in the PIHL this year. Uh, Dougie, two different, two brothers, two different players. But I'll tell you who the spark was. Dustin Hawthorne. Kids gets involved with the play. Relentless player. Talks to the other team. He's going to be a big player in this game. Kukaruda corrals it for Pine Ridge and he moves it out of the zone. It's uh, met there by number 16, Ben Evans. Knocked in by Kukaruda. Evans in after the puck. And we're going to have an offside. One of the things that happened with Beaver in their last game, Dave, was that uh, their, their second and third line players really stepped it up. Um, and when you get to this point in the, in the playoffs, it's very important for that, that second and third line. The first line's done great, but the second and third lines against South Park were outstanding. Well, to go anywhere, you've got to have three solid lines. Uh, we saw that in the first game with, uh, with Alder Knight. Just a very dominant, special park team, strong as they are, and deep as they are. It totally outwore the Alder Knight team. Base off to the left of Danny Mills. One by Pine Richland. Evans moves it down along the boards. Miller in after it. Aunt Randy Bauer, Dougie, Danny Miller, Danny Miller back to Evans. Evans takes a drive, square blocks it. Where's the puck? I think it's up in his sleeve. He took the puck. He wanted to take it home with him. We have a face-off coming up to the uh, right-hand side of Dan Mills. Mills is an interesting story. He just uh, came in this year, uh, young man, 11th grader, and he's played well. He played in the victory against Beaver. So uh, we'll see how he does today. He played a strong game the last time. Bauer, Bauer in the zone zone. Moves the puck around. Post check by Danny Miller. Danny Miller shot, went wide. Evans, Evans back at the point. In the corner, Conlon after it. Meets, meets Hawthorne there. And Pine Richmond, tough along the boards here. Working for that puck. Here's Trombetta. Trombetta hit from behind. Kukaruda, Kukaruda stood up by John Benoit. Nice play. Conlon, Conlon, he's going to dump it away and we're in after it for the Pine Richland Rams. Evans corrals it behind his own net. Evans picks up the puck, moves it up the center ice. Hawthorne after it, but Bauer says no. He takes care of it. Miller, Miller regroups, waits for his players to get on side. Takes a big hit there by Tom Benna, who laid him out. Conlon, Conlon with the puck. Conlon up over the blue line and into the Beaver zone. Evans is in after it. Menabaisu is pressuring for Pine Richland. Down in the corner, Cradle in there after it. Ryan Morgan picks up for Beaver. Headman pass up to Brian Tell. Tell moves it in, in behind the zone. Morgan, Morgan in front of the net. Shot and Mills in the little scuffle there. And these two teams are sparking each other up already. Yeah, the first game earlier, earlier in the season, uh, both of them were feeling each other out a little bit here. And uh, you know, a little action in front of the net right after that whistle there, Jeff. Okay, Morgan will move in to take the face off. And he'll go up against, uh, can't catch the number on that. Foder, Foder. Krupp, Krupp takes the face off. Krupp controls, a shot, and a save, a rebound! And it's shot wide. Foder picks the puck up behind his own net. Moves it to Nenevaisu. Nenevaisu cleanly knocks it out of his zone. And over there to pick it up is Adam Flanner for Beaver. Dale Wagner, Wagner corrals it for Pine Richland. Moves it up along the board. There's Cradle, he, he bunches it ahead. And number four back there, Anthony Spagnola, clears it down, and Wagner will get it, and it'll be an icing call against Beaver. Fine Richland, uh, this is their, their tri second trip to the Penguin Cup Finals. Uh, they made it in 1997, lost to Bishop McCord in the single-A Finals at Pacific Arena, two to one, tough game. Beaver, on the other hand, has made two trips here to the Penguin Cup Final, 1988. Uh, they lost to Alderdice in the double-A Final, and then in 1991, the historic Beaver team uh, and what a great team that was with Joe Pelly. And uh, they ended up going on to win the state championship. And they beat, uh, I'm not sure who they beat, but they won that state championship in 1991. Danny Miller, he clears his own. Looks like we're going to have another icing. One interesting thing, Dave, uh, the double A, and you look at the triple A game, and you see the speed's about the same. Uh, you know, the, these are two fine hockey clubs here. Right, and both teams have a lot of depth. Both teams use pretty solid lines and throwing a force occasion too, Jeff. To get here, Beaver ran a seven. They rolled a bunch of seven. Beat Moon seven to four. Then they beat the defending three-time state champion, Thomas Jefferson Jaguars, seven to three. Oh, a tip in front. And then finally, they beat South Park seven two. So they, they rolled the sevens to get here. Ryan Conlon at the point, a big drive. Went wide, Gazzo. 
Schwer gets the puck. Schwer with the puck. Moves it to Trombetta. Trombetta makes a little move in front. Oh, Kukuruda. Carey, Carey moves it ahead. Intercepted by Schwer. Carey moves it up. Here's Miller. Miller in over the line. Dumps it away into the corner. There's more after it. Carey with them. Kukuruda picks it up in his own end. He wheels it out. Kukuruda with good speed. Intercepted there by, by Moore. Kukuruda moves it in. And they're bumping, they're bumping already. Here's big Sean Vinoy. Big defenseman for Beaver. He carries it up and over the red line. He dumps it away and a save by Mill. Bauer, Bauer with the puck. Bauer moves it around to Netabaisu. Netabaisu moves it along up the cradle. And it's intercepted there by Dustin Hawthorne. Hawthorne with the puck. Just moves it back to the Pine Richard line. Bauer, good skating speed. Gets it up the red and dumps it in. Hansen leaves it there for Evans. Evans with the puck. Intercepted there by Minabaisu. The Krupp corrals it for Beaver. Krupp. Gates out. Good speed. Over the red line. Krupp in over the line. Dumps it into the corner. Hanahan after for Pine Richmond. Sloppy play here a little bit. Krupp. Krupp corrals the puck. He moves it. Minabaisu and Bauer clear it out. Spagnola. Spagnola moves it to Krupp and Krupp just dumps it away. No icing called. Here's Bauer. Bauer off the boards. Miller. Miller intercepts. Cradle there to intercept for Pine Richmond. Cleaned in by Beaver. Beaver keeps the puck in the zone. There's Cradle. Cradle blocked by in front. Danny Miller. A chance. A rebound. A shot. Oh, and it just went wide. Hawthorne in after it. Bauer and Cradle clears. Good chance there for Beaver. Excellent job by the Beaver Bobcats there. Almost putting the puck past the Pine Richmond goal. Spagnola winds it up in, in his own zone. He moves the puck along to Miller. Miller, oh, he's met hard by Ryan Kleiner. Kukaruda, Danny Miller's almost picked his pocket. Kukaruda with the puck and turns, clears it into the Beaver Bobcat zone. Trombetta in after it. Great speed by Trombetta. Beats Hawthorne to the puck. Then they fall down on the puck. We're going to have a stop and play. 10-21 remaining. The score was tied here. Fine Richmond and Beaver Bobcat. We're back to action here. Face off to the right of Bob Hansen. Morgan. Morgan clears it up off the board. Back for it. Swan. Swan moves it over to Wagner. Wagner gets it off the board. Samoy. They're playing a little tennis here, Dave. Turns. Intercept. There's Trombetta. Trombetta. With lots of speed. Trombetta over the line. Moves it in front. And Kell there to break it up. The noise. The noise for the Beaver Bobcats. Heads in to puck the truck. Truck. And over the line. One man back. Wrist shot. And that's one up in the cheap seats, Dave. Beaver Bobcats, uh, Dave, they, they've, uh, they've done a great job. Pine Richland defeated Carrick 7-4. Then they went on to play, uh, they defeated Keystone Oaks, who upset Indiana. And then they came into that game against Peter Township the other night. Terrific hockey game, ended up a 2-1 game. And Sean Bettis scored a big goal for him to win it. Yes, he did. Okay, that's what it said in the yearbook, Jim. <laughs> okay, good crowd on hand here, by the way. A lot of Pine Richmond and Beaver faithful. Trombetta moves the puck to Swan. Swan in over the line. He takes a wrist shot. It's blocked there by Evans. Brian Morgan goes hard into the boards up down there. These two teams are battling it out early here. Looks like a, the first goal is going to be a big one. Wagner, Wagner, back to the point. A shot. It went wide. Evans, Evans after for Beaver. Evans, poke check there by Kukaruda. Kukaruda, Morgan, Morgan moves it out of the zone. Wagner rounds it there for the Pine Richmond Rams. Evans, Evans to Vinoy, Vinoy moves it up to Krop. Krop head man's the puck to Hawthorne. Hawthorne in the Krop. Krop, good drop pass, rebound. Kukaruda grabs it around the board. Wagner just tips it out of the zone. Nice play there by Krop to keep it in. And Wagner corrals it again to find Rich and it looks like we're going to have another icing call. We're back to action here. Double A Penguin Cup Final. The winner of today's game will go on to meet the winner of Archbishop Carroll and Central Bucks West next week at the Haverford Stadium in a game at 1230. Hawthorne. Hawthorne intercepts the play. Back to the point. Number 21 for Beaver is Adam Flenner. Power up over the line, drives it home into the Beaver Bobcat zone, and Hanson's just going to hold on to the puck. Shots are two to nothing. 
uh, in favor of Pine Richland. And uh, looks like a pretty good, you had a, a good call, feeling not processed. Right, and a uh, nice scoring chance by the Beaver Bobcats a few, minute, a few minutes ago. A uh, nice drop pass, almost put one pass. Yeah, and, and then one thing you'll see about Hawthorne, Hawthorne's a pretty smart little hockey player. He, he knows when to drop the puck, he knows when to hold on to it, he dumps the puck away. He's one of those ki kids you love to coach. Face off to the, to the left of uh, Hanson. Flenner, Flenner has the puck. Cradle moves it down, Nenabaisu, Nenabaisu, met there by Dougie Miller. Flenner off the boards, up to Hawthorne. Hawthorne hits Danny Miller, missed him in stride. Bauer takes Miller along the boards, then there's Dougie Miller. Oh, and he's flipped up over. Pretty dangerous play there, Conlon with the puck. Miller intercepted, Miller in front. Oh, and he just missed Dougie. Cradle, and we have a penalty upcoming. I think they're gonna have an elbow. It's Randy Bauer, he got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. And there, there's Hawthorne there making a little play, and he forced a mistake by Pine Ridge. Excellent pressure by Beaver on that play there and uh, forced him into a penalty. Now we'll get to see the Beaver Bobcat power play in action. They'll bring Adam Trump out and uh, they're gonna, they're, they'll use Miller at the point. They're gonna use uh, Dougie Miller up front and Sean Benoit. And this is a pretty potent power play. Good puck movement, good skating movement from the last game against South Park. It's a terrific, terrific power play. Fine Richmond's uh, on the other hand, Kenny Trombetta always a threat to score. Trombetta steps in here with Fodor, Conlon, and Kukaruda, I believe. Yes. So Kukaruda, Fodor up front. Conlon, Conlon moves it off the boards. Kukaruda has it. And it's intercepted by Trump. Trump. Moves the puck to Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Moves up over the line. A little bit of a high stick there. Nothing called. Miller, Doug Miller. Oh, and he couldn't handle it. Fodor grabs it. Trump, Trump over to Benoit. Benoit, little patient. Shot, score! John Benoit with a big drive up over the shoulder of Danny Mills and the Beaver Bobcat. Take the one minute up and leave with 7 11 to go. Big drive by Benoit there. For a second, though, Jeff, I didn't think that puck had gone in the net. It just barely beat him on the inside corner uh, for a one nothing Beaver lead. Fine shot there by Benoit. And I, I tell you, you see good puck movement there. You see all the Beaver guys, they're moving in and out. And they just moved it back to the point. And Benoit with a big blast. And it's one nothing Beaver. Shots in the game are three nothing in the favor of the Beaver Bobcats. As we mentioned, the winner of this game is a Central Bucks West, Archbishop Carroll, who played in the state final last year against Thomas Jefferson. Uh, these are two of the best teams in the state, Dave. There's no question about it. So we're, we're ready. We're going to see how Pine Richmond responds. Morgan. Morgan off the board. Swan. Swan picks it up. He drives it into the beat. Benoit with it. Carry. Carry. Carry with the puck. Carry. Moves it ahead. Morgan. Morgan. In over the line. Morgan, around one man, around two, couldn't get by Schwan. Foder picks it up around the boards and out of the zone. Beaver regroups it, Evans with the puck. Evans up over the line, he's just gonna drive it home on goal. Foder, Foder just chips it away and by the Beaver defense. Number four, Anthony Spagnol up with the puck. Carry, carry in over the line, they're dumping and chasing. Tell, Tell beats the man to the puck, but Wagner picks it up and corrals it for Pine Richmond. Foder, Foder with the puck. He moves it ahead, Spagnola. Spagnola. Over to Flanner. Flanner dumps it away to the Pine Richmond zone. So they're just dumping it in, and they're making Pine Richmond bring it out there. Yeah, Beaver's playing very inspired hockey right now, Jeff. Play is at center ice. Back to the Pine Richmond line. Swan with it. Swan up the cradle. It looks like we're going to have an icing. No, they're going to play it. They waved it off. Then a Bisu. Good play there by Spagnola. Spagnola along the boards. Moore. Moore moves it up ahead there. Beaver dumps it into the zone. Now it's number 15, Mike Slipper. Oh, big hit there by Slipper on the boards. Back to the point. Spagnola, big drive, and Mills loves it. No shots for Pine Richland, and, and uh, Beaver continues great defense. Well, so far, Beaver's had the better of the play. 
say, but you know, Pine Ridge was not undefeated for any reason, Jeff. Uh, I'm sure they'll be uh, they'll be making their statement here real soon. Well, Pine Ridge is going to have to pick it up. The, the the territorial edge in this game is uh, just it, it's gone all Pine Ridge or I'm sorry, all Beaver. We're going to have a face-off to the right of Danny Mills. Jeff Cucarudi is going to step in to take it against Dougie Miller. A little bit of line change here. George Reed shuffling his lines. Cradle line with Cucaruda. And Swear. Andy Bauer, Randy Bauer, and Carlin on defense. Vinoy, Vinoy back to the point. Big drive. Saved by Mills. And he covers up the rebound. Coach George Reed switching up. He's going to bring Trombetta out here. He's going to let, I'm, I'm sure Trombetta will take the face off. Big face off in the zone with 525. Want to have your number one guy on the face off day. Absolutely. And even though the shot step is 7 0, it's still a one goal game now with 525 left in the first. Dave Scott along with Jeff Morrow here at the Johnstown War Memorial Penguin Cup Double A final. Winner go on to the state finals next week in Haverford. Randy Bauer around the boards to Jeff Schweer. Miller, Miller with the puck. Floater's going to get it there for Pine Richmond. Up to Schweer, Schweer. Over to Trombetta, intercepted there by Hawthorne. Hawthorne up to Miller, nice little pass. Back to Miller. Oh boy, they had a nice little play going on here. Here's Trombetta. Miller, Miller to Hawthorne. Hawthorne in over the line. Hawthorne with the puck. Tries to drop to Dougie Miller. In front, nice play by Ryan Clymer. Swear, swear, up to Trombetta. Big hit there by Vinoy. Vinoy stepped up and he took the body on, on Trombetta. They're, they're taking a little page out of the Peters Township book, Dave. Here's Trombetta back with Vinoy, but Vinoy clears it away. As I mentioned, uh, Peters Township was banging Trombetta, and that seems to be what, what Beaver wants to do here early on. Well, you know, they're going to have to keep him uh, in pretty much in check if they're going to have any chance to win this game. Today. Absolutely. Trump, Trump with the puck. He moves along to Morgan. Morgan, a little too far. Wagner. Wagner moves it up off the boards. We have a stop and play. Must have hit the player back. There's no, no, no secret. Trombetta, one of the fine players, signed a letter uh, of, of intent with uh, the Pittsburgh Forge, junior hockey. He's one of the fine players in this league, and, and Beaver has uh, kept him under wraps so far. So far, Beavers have excellent puck movement. They've been uh, rushing the puck into the zone. Most of the scoring opportunities right now, Beaver. Okay, Mills holds on to the puck, and we're going to have another face-off. 4.06 remaining in the first. Face-off will be to the left of Danny Mills. As Beaver sends out their second unit, Ryan Morgan with Adam Krupp and Brian Tell. Very solid second line here for Beaver. Gazza. Intercepted by Tell. Tell in front. Oh, just a chance. Manabaisu off the boards to Kukaruda. Kukaruda cradle and climb on the ice here. This one looks like there's a penalty coming up against Beaver. Okay, so Pine Rissom could go on the power play here. The 348 remaining in a one nothing game. It uh, looks like, let's see who uh, the referee's going to whistle off here. Number five, it looks like Morgan is going to hold. Officiating's been very good here today. Uh, they, they're letting the kids play, but they're calling the right the right calls. And uh, the, I, the one thing with the four-man system, you're going to see them catch a lot of stuff behind the play. Well, that's true. And uh, we've seen that throughout the entire playoffs. Jeff. The referee's been absolutely excellent. Here the Pine Richland Rams are getting a little fired up here over underneath us. We have a nice crowd on hand here today at the Johnstown War Memorial. War Memorial. Easy for you to say. Cradle, cradle, back at the point. Cradle to the puck, he holds on, holds on. Trombetta, Trombetta can't handle it. Cradle with a big drive, cut, save. Trombetta picks it up, a loose puck, in behind the men of Ice. Men of Ice with the puck, cycles it to Trombetta. Trombetta, in the men of Ice. They're setting up on this left hand side. Trombetta with the puck. He moves it to Bauer, Bauer. Moves it down below to Kukaruda. Nenevaisu with the puck. Nenevaisu in behind the Beaver net. Beaver staying in their box. Very disciplined here. Kukaruda with the puck. Kukaruda turns in. Trombetta. Trombetta in front of the net. Takes a little backhand. 
Cucuruta with the puck. Cucuruta back in front of Trombetta. Loose puck. Where is it? Scott has it. He clears. Cradle back there for Pine Richland to pick it up. Here comes Cucuruta in behind to take it. Cucuruta. Big head of steam up over center ice. Chased by Carey. Carey drops it off. And Hawthorne, nice little play there to read the play, Dave. And, and makes a nice play to Cruz. Yeah, beautiful job, beautiful job. Cradle up for Nenebisu. Nenebisu looks to move it off the boards. Danny Miller clears. Cradle with the puck. Moves over to Bauer. Bauer and over the line. Tom Benna, Tom Benna down below. To Nenebisu. Tom Benna. Back to the point to Cradle. Cradle moves it into Nenebisu. Kukuruta, big drive. Shot it wide. Cradle. Cradle along the board. Moves it to Tom Benna. Beaver very disciplined in their box. Cradle with the puck. Along the board. Trombetta. Trombetta takes a shot. Hits the side of the net. Trombetta. Back to the point to Cradle. Keeps her at even strength. Shot on goal. Hanson. In a vice to. And Hanson holds on. And with 142 remaining, Beaver maintains a one nothing move. Back to action here, uh, Penguin Cup Double A Final, 142 remaining. Dougie Miller picks up the puck, and there he goes. The Ever Ready Bunny is out. It held up, and a nice play by Ryan Carlin. What, what do we have? We have a stoppage play. It looks like an offside, Dave. Uh, the net move, net was off. Okay. Um, Pine Richland's an interesting story. Uh, They've been to the Penguin Cup semifinals for the last five years, uh, actually the last six years. And they went to the Penguin Cup. They've had a fine program over there. Kind of changed hands. George Reed inherited it this year. And, uh, you know, they're, they're right back where they belong in the, in the, in the double A. And uh, they have a lot of talent out there. Pucks up into the crowd. Growing area out there, Pine Township, Richmond Township, and uh, they're, they're starting to turn out a nice hockey program. Boy, they brought a ton of fans here today, Jeff. There's a whole slew of them underneath our booth here, making a lot of noise, getting ready to erupt. They want that Pine Richmond team to come down and put one in. Looks like a St. Patrick's Day parade with all that green down there, huh, Dave? Absolutely. They have the milkshakers, and I'll tell you what, folks, if you want to see some milkshakers and noise, Vision McCourt and Sarah coming up next. Make sure you join us. Nenebaisu, the younger Nenebaisu, with the puck. Moves it up along the board. So interesting line matchup here where you got the Millers against the third unit here for Pine Richland. Trombetta will be, it, it looks like they're, they're using, they're matching the, that first unit with Beaver with uh, whenever Trombetta's on the ice day. Nenebaisu. Trombetta in front. Miller picks it up. Here come the Beaver Bobcats. Three on two. Miller takes a quick, quick first shot. Mills knocks it to the corner. There's Hawthorne. Hawthorne to Miller. In front. Shot it wide. Miller to Danny Miller. Back to Evans. Intercepted by Swear. Swear to Minabaisu. Minabaisu up over the line. He'll just dump it in and get a line change. Sean Benoit. Moves the puck up along the board. Cradle intercepts into Bauer. Bauer. Bauer looks like a, he's a, a forward up there. Kukuruda. Kukuruda with the puck. He cycles around. Tries to move it back to the point to Conlon. Conlon makes the play. Oh, boy. That was a quick offside call there. It looks like he kept it in, and then finds him very was a check listed it for the offside. So far in this game, it's been the quickness of Beaver uh, that's got the one nothing lead for them. Well, I'll tell you what, their second and third units have really played well and very well defensively. Uh, Bob Hanson, we're going to have to send his pillow down there. He's going to fall asleep. <laughs> Jeff Morrow alongside Dave Scott here. Uh, and our, our technical wizard, Mr. Doug Heck, are, as pr providing the video for us. And as always, wonderful video. There's Wagner, and there's the second shot. Second shot of the game. Four seconds remaining in the first period. We had a chance to talk to the Beaver kids before the game, and, uh, you know, they seem pretty confident coming in here, Dave. Absolutely. Well, they played very well in the playoffs so far. They've been uh, 
because they're very excited. They came out here before the start of the game and raced around the ice, and uh, they have got excited, and they're ready to play. Face off to the left of Hanson. Moore picks the puck up. Back to Wagner. Wagner. And the drive is shot on goal. The end of the period here. We got a little scuffle down there. Evans and Swan, I think four heads are going to be pre prevail. Shots of the first period were eight to three in favor of Beaver. Uh, but I'll tell you that, that it was the one power play goal. Uh, Mills has played pretty well. He's made some nice saves. Hein Richmond uh, looks a little lethargic here, Dave. Well, so far, but again, it's, uh, it's their own set. It's only one goal. What a time left. Okay, we're going to go to a break here. Back to action here in the second period. And away we go. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. Okay, Beaver with the puck along the board. Stahl moves it in. Wagner there to find Richard. Spagnuolo intercepts, keeps it in the zone. Nice play to keep it in there. Carry down there. Wagner corrals it to the time Richard ran. Zenobisu, Zenobisu. Back to Wagner. Wagner intercepted by Trump. Nice little play by Adam Trump there. Wagner along the board. Up to Zenobisu. Having trouble getting it out of their zone, but that's a nice little play there. Kukuruda, two on one. It's great. Oh, Kukuruda in over the line. Shot save. Rebound. Oh, and a nice play by Spagnola to break it up. Spagnola made a nice play there. Excellent job coming back. I thought they had a goal to tie it up. Here's Benavisu. Fine Richmond coming out flying here in a second. Morgan. Morgan picks it up behind his own net. Here's Carey. Carey. Wagner. Rams look like they're going to be offside. And a referee or linesman. Chet Steen whistles them for the offside pass. Seems to be a little bit of controversy down there. The referee question on the off the offside pass, Dave. We have up in the rafters here at the War Memorial. Wonder if they'll take a picture. We wave into the crowd. Okay. We have a legendary Yeah, maybe Earl will come back and uh and be, and be, on the, be on the radio with you in the police hearing, Jeff. We'll have to see if we can get him. Okay, we are up over the line. Benoit, Benoit with the puck. Up to Hawthorne. Hawthorne moves it ahead to Miller. Beautiful pass. Two on one. Two on one. Miller. Danny Miller. Big drive. And a good save by Mills. Great puck movement there. Boy, Beaver is so quick. You give him an inch and they're just going to jump all over you. Good job there by the uh, by Mills, the goalie, to keep that from going, making a... Uh, Having to leave 12 to 2 0. Easy for me to say. It's the building. It's the building. It's the building. It's too much excitement. We're overcome with excitement. Okay, Dougie Miller will move in to take the face off from Kenny Trombetta to the left of Danny Mills. Hawthorne off the face off. Oh, he shot it right over the net. Finland, Finland up off the, off the boards to Fodor. Hawthorne intercepts. Tripped up there. Nothing called. Randy Bauer moves up to Fodor. Fodor ahead to Trombetta. Trombetta, good back checking by. Looks like there's a blade offside. They're going to call it all the way down. Good call by Barry Wozniak there. You know that offside call. They they give the kids a certain amount of time to get out of the zone. If they don't get out of the zone, they they whistle them for the potential offside. Absolutely, the way it should be. Excellent call there by Barry Wozniak. And I, I'll tell you what, sometimes those come back to bite you, Dave. If, if they get the face off down in their zone, it gives Pine Rich a little territory. Yeah, they got to be careful here. 13-27 left in the second period. Shot being 8-4 to four right now in favor of the Bobcats. Okay, Ryan Morgan will step in here against Dougie Cradle on the face off to the left of Bob Hanson. Chet Steen drops the puck and away we go. Benoit, back to the point, hand or hand. Big drive. Hanson puts it into the corner. Nenevaisu, Nenevaisu with the puck. That's what we're going to have you do tonight. We're going to have you go home and say Nenevaisu a hundred times, Dave. I think I've said it a hundred. Not, it's not fair. He has a brother playing. There he is again, Nenevaisu with the puck. Crafty little player. Self intercept. And he's going to clear it for Beaver. Gazzo picked up there by Morgan. Morgan in over the line. Morgan takes a little quick little shot. Blocked by Hanrahan. 
Kept it clear by and tell there for Beaver. Hannerhan up to Nenevaisu. Intercepted by Flenner. Hanner, nice pass. Cradle, good back check, Dustin Hawthorne. And he moves it away to the Pine Richland line. Turning clock, 12.30 to go in the second period. John Benoit for Beaver picks up the puck, up to Danny Miller, and here he comes. Miller in around Pine Richland, in over the line, quick with shot, and a save by Danny Miller. You see Miller, he gets that motor going, Dave, and uh, you know, he's, he doesn't look like he's moving too fast, but he's moving. Very quick coming down the left side there, Jeff. Got off a nice shot. Mills made a nice save. Okay, face off to the right of Danny Mills. Kenny Trombetta step in against Dougie Miller. Magnola and Trapper on the point. Miller. Bauer, Bauer with the puck, Trombetta. Trombetta looking to clear it off his own man. He's bumped there by Miller. Here comes Bauer, big speed. Shot. Oh, hand, that, that almost handcuffed Hanson. Yeah, had a little bit of trouble on that, Jeff, but he uh, still managed to make the save. Beaver, they've run a great amateur program down over the years, and one of the advantages they have Bobby Hawthorne, who coaches their amateur program, is also their high school coach. Many of the boys on the Beaver team play for Hawthorne on that midget team, and that's a big advantage for, for Beaver. Absolutely, Jeff. Okay, Trump takes the face off. He flips it up in the air. Bauer, Dougie Miller, Dougie Miller, there he is. He's in after it. Miller has the puck in front. Oh, Danny Miller shot. Oh, he shot it wide. He shot it wide. Boy, he had a wide open net there, Dave. Well, I tell you, he's coming right down the slot there. Just wide up. Well, I shouldn't say wide up the net, but he's got a big crowd in front of the goal. These people were tied up and just failed wide. Well, our minor officials tonight are our friends, Mr. John McTighe and Gary Freeman, the Johnstown crew are here today. Mr. Dennis Kelly doing the, the uh, goal judging. And we have Tim Lane down on the other end in the Pine Ridge from end. Mills is going to cover it up for a face-off. That was number 15, Mike Slipper. Okay. Okay, Dave, uh, back to action here. And uh, if you want to follow all the action on, Dave, what, what's the site? Oh, uh, PA Hockey. PA Hockey dot, uh, e -team -z dot com. Yeah, dot com. Backslash PA Hockey. Jeff, if I must say so, you've done a fine job this year in uh, keeping that website updated and uh, really covering high school hockey. Well, we're trying. I had nothing to do with it. You only had 3,000 hits on it, so I think we're on there every day. It's amazing we go to work. Swear in over the line. Swear in. A drive and a save by Hanson. You know, Dave, it's very unfortunate when your work gets in, in the way of hockey because uh, you know, that's un very important because we love to do hockey 24 hours a day. So, Jeff, you, you really did a fine job this year, and uh, I know a lot of people out there, uh, especially the kids, very appreciative of your work and uh, dedication to making this thing happen this year. So, well, there's, there's a lot more people than me. But anyway, uh, we're, we're back to action. And Mr. Freeman's waving to us down here. We, gotta, we have to get up and do the seven-minute stretch or what? <laughs> Okay, we're back to action here. Now that we got all the commercials out, we have to put a little plug, plug in here for my man, Mr. Heck, over here. He's, he's got that camera. He looks like he's, he's a security man. Okay, Swan in behind his own net. He moves it up off the board. And number eight there for Beaver. Picks it up, Matt Hatfield. Hatfield. Wagner moves it around. Cradle with the puck. Cradle to Pine Richland. Moves it back to Hatfield. Got the puck. Minivice. Minivice. Moves it. Good pass. Ahead. A nice back check by Brian Carey. Carey with the puck. In behind his own goal. A little foot pass. A little step up there by Kukaruda. Kukaruda flies it down into the Beaver zone. The boy up with it. Hatfield. Hatfield moves it ahead. And it's broken up there by Ryan Kleinman. Van Dyke. Van Dyke with the puck. Moves it in, Bauer with it. Bauer moves it over, Benoit's in now for Beaver. 
Back to Halfhill. Halfhill with the puck. Halfhill moves it up. Brian Morgan tips it. We got an icing call. And with five. 958, 9 I'm getting a little ahead of myself. 958 remaining in the second period. It's Beaver one, Pine Richmond zero. Pine Richmond. Okay, Tom Bennett is going to take the face off here against Brian Pell. Looks like George Reed's got the line match up he wants here. He's got Tom Bennett on the ice with that corner. So we'll see what happens. Crump, Crump controls the puck for Beaver, moves it ahead. Oh, there's Dougie Miller. He's so small you can't even see him. But I'll tell you what, he carries a big stick. Crump, Crump with the puck off the board. Hanrahan picks it up there for Pine Richmond. George Moore, Moore in over the line, dumps it to the Pine Richmond zone. Miller in average. Coach Bobby Hawthorne mixing the lines up here a little bit, Dave. And he's got, uh, he's got Moore, Pal, and uh, Miller together. Usually Morgan's in, in, uh, on that line. They're, they're playing Miller with him. That's a little interesting combination. He's moving some guys around. Dave, and uh, maybe he sees something with Pine Richmond that he wants to exploit them with this Dougie Miller speed. Well, I can also keep them guessing, too. So uh, a lot of coaches like to do that, throw some different looks at you every once in a while during the game. So we got 9.18 left, Jeff. Your eyes are right. My eyes are okay, but they got to get that one little light bulb fixed over there. I need a beep kind of shoot it out. Okay, face off to the right of Bob Hansen. 9.18 remaining. Dougie Miller in, or Danny Miller in to take the trombetta. Carry, carry. Hawthorne. Hawthorne up over, over the line. He didn't get it. He presses Bauer. Makes it along the board there. Clear, picks it up to find Richmond. Over to trombetta. Trombetta with the puck. Moves it ahead to center. And, and Hawthorne has it. Hawthorne. Moves it up over the line. Danny Miller in after it. Bauer, Bauer. Kept in there neatly by the Beaver defense. Ryan Conlon in after it for Pine Richmond. Conlon picks the puck up. Makes a little bad little pass there. Picked off. Conlon gets his own puck back. Conlon, three on two. Moves it in over the line. Swear can't get it. And Sean Manoy will pick it up there for Beaver. Randy Bauer's going to get it to center ice. Bauer with it. Bauer dumps it up over the line. And it's an offside call. Schweer couldn't get out of his own. Okay, we're back to action here. Pine Richland and Beaver in the Double A Penguin Cup semifinal, 2001. Hanson will stop it alongside there. Hanrahan at the point. Hanrahan with a puck, a big drive, and put to the corner by Hanson. Morgan, Morgan, up with it. Up to Tell, Tell dumps it away. In behind Dan Mills, Morgan in after. Morgan with the puck. That's number 15, and that's Mike Clifford. Clifford with the puck, over to Tell. Tell for Morgan, Morgan. Morgan moving the puck around. Hanerham pins up against the boards. There's Slipper in after it. Slipper comes away with that puck, wins the battle. Bumped there by Jeff Cucuruta. Cucuruta couldn't get out of there. Nothing called, Tell with the puck. Tell is relentless, out in front. Looking for Morgan. Morgan with the puck. Out in front. Crop with a big drive. Score! Boy, Pine Richmond had a tough time, Dave, getting that out of the zone. Mike Slipper, Brian Tell with some good work down there. Adam Crump looked like it went off of Pine Richmond's defenseman in front. 2 nothing. Beaver, 7.33 left. Yeah, relentless pursuit by Beaver on that play to get him a 2 nothing lead here with 7.33 left. Nice play there by Brian Tell. Equally good play, Mike Slipper. Good work down there. And there's that second line coming into play again on, against Pine Richmond. And Beaver looks like they're uh, looking to put, put it on Pine Richmond today. Pine Richmond's heads are down right now, and they got to pick it up. Yeah, Jeff, and Pine Richmond finds themselves in a very unfamiliar position right now, down 2 nothing. I don't believe they've been down 2 nothing before this year in a league game. I, I agree with you. I've been the most... They're, they're close games, and they have not been down. They were down to Indiana by goal. Big drive. Here come the Rams. Good play. Miller ahead. Miller, two on one. Miller in on a shot. And a save by Mills. Big save there, Dave. Okay. We're back to action. Benoit. Hawthorne, he's just going to dump it away. Looks like there's an offside call. 
Twyland has it for Pine Richmond. Moves it ahead to Bauer. Bauer with the puck up over the line. In with Fodor. Fodor, three on two. Up back to Schwer. Back to Schwer. And the boy breaks it up. Nice defensive play. Uh oh, loose puck. Here comes Dougie Miller. Dougie Miller. In around a D. Nothing called. And we have a stoppage in play. Uh, Dougie Miller looked like he was in all alone. That was a good defensive play. It could have been a holding. Pine Richmond's very fortunate there, Dave. Uh, nice job by Pine Richmond. Tying up Doug Miller. Could have uh, scored a goal to make it three. Not big, but uh, not to be. Well, I tell you, I'd pull him down because, you know, if it gets three nothing, they, they could be in a little trouble here, Dave. Well, Dave's taking a little commercial break here, and we've lost our spotter, but our friend Mr. Heck is still filming for us over there. Trump, Trump moves the puck down along the line. Pine Richmond having a little trouble getting it out of their zone. Kukaroot up to Minavisu. Minavisu tries to go around Spagnuolo and couldn't do it. Kukaroota working down hard. Crop, crop. Morgan, Morgan with the puck. Back to the point. Shot by Schwer, or Swan, Swan. Swan to Kukaruda, back to Cradle. Cradle, moves the puck along the goal line. Kukaruda, Kukaruda in front. Nobody home. Magnola home. Clears. Looks like we're gonna have an icing. So with 6.01 remaining, it's two nothing Beaver. Shots of the game are 13 to seven in favor of Beaver. Looks like. Jeff Morrow alongside Dave Scott here at the Johnstown War Memorial, the historic Johnstown War Memorial. For the double-A Penguin Cup final. From Betta in front. From Betta. From Betta with that puck, and he's trying to get this Pine Richmond team back in the game. And Tell clears. Good play by Tell there. And uh, Pine Richmond coming on, Dave. What? Okay, we're going to go to a break. All right, we're back to action here. Dave, it looks like Pine Richmond's coming on. Beavers ice the puck a couple times. Well, so far, Beaver's done a great job in keeping uh, Kenny Trombetta in check, but they are uh, picking up the play a little bit right here. Okay, here's Swan. Swan with the puck. Wagner, shot to score! Dale Wagner with a big drive, and it goes over the corner, Bob Harrison, and it's 2-1. And just like that, Dave, Pine Richmond's back in the game. Well, it seems like a harmless shot here from the point. Didn't have much on it. Uh, the Beavers are in bad. Two to one. Please, the time Okay. Well, Beavers winning, but I'll tell you what. That is a huge goal, Dave. Gigantic goal. Get them back in the game. And, and more importantly, get these fans in the game and get them all excited. Uh, we'll see what Pine Richland does now that they've got this first goal. They've been coming on. The shots are now 13-9, and the Ram faithful are on their feet. Here, they, here come the Ram. Cradle, cradle, in over the line. And we got ourselves a hockey game now. Trout. Miller, Miller, in over the line. And Kukaruda back checking there for the Pine Richmond Rams. The game, the game seems to pick up its pace right now. Benoit, Benoit up to Miller. Miller over to Hawthorne, Hawthorne. Up to Miller. And Trump has the puck. Trump over to Danny Miller. Danny Miller's calling for that puck. He wants it. It's the big game and he wants the puck. Oh, shot by Hawthorne and a save. Rebound and a save. Crop, crop along the boards. There's Tell. Tell in behind the net to Hawthorne. Hawthorne moves it in front of Crop. Crop over to Tell. Tell, backhander. Miller, where's that puck? Who's got it? He got it. They got it. The gunner is back. Conlon behind the net. And Doug Cradle clears for Pine Richmond. Bauer, Bauer couldn't get it out. He does get, finally get it out. He works it out of his own. Benoy, Benoy, up to Hawthorne. Hawthorne in over the line. A big drive. Oh, and it just got by. And he steered it to the corner. Cradle picks it up there for Pine Richmond. On a fast pace, four minutes and 12 seconds here remaining in the second. The score is two to one, Beaver. Kukaruda, and it's back check there by Morgan. Morgan moves the puck up off the boards. Carey. Carey, and a nice play back check there by Kukaruda. Bauer, Bauer moves it ahead. And it's back to the Pine Richland line. Kukaruda, stolen there by Carey. Carey, Beaver with the puck. Beaver with the puck, slipper and fresh, shot, score! Brian Slipper, and a tip. Looks like Carey got his, his stick on that one. And that was a harmless play 
Clifford picked it up, shot it towards the net, and it looks like number two, Brian Carey, tips it in. Yeah, it could have been Brian Carey, maybe even Ryan Morgan. One of them that looked like that stepped him out of stuff at the last second to give Beaver a 3 1 lead. That's a big goal. Big goal. Big goal for Beaver because I'll tell you, that looked like a harmless play. Pine Richards couldn't get it out of the zone. And it's now 3 to 1. 3.46 remaining here in the second period, Dave. Step championship teams react in a positive way whenever things seem to go against them. Beaver Bobcats giving up a what seemed like a harmless uh, shot a few minutes ago bounced right back to take a two-goal lead. Okay, we're going to wait for the announcement on the goal. Tom Betta. Tom Betta with the puck. In over the line. Morgan did get the goal. Good call, Dave. Gazzo, the big drive. Rebound, loose puck. Bob Hansen covers it up. So it was Morgan that tipped that puck. That was a good call. You have good eyesight, Dave. You know, us younger guys, Jeff, we can see a little bit better. Yeah, you're not an old guy like me. I can't see that far. I guess it's got to be right in front of me. Heck, heck, did you see that? I don't know whether he caught that or not. Oh, he got it. Leave it to Doug. He's got this set of binoculars. He's got three cameras up here. And he has a, a ham and cheese sandwich over there, too. Won't even give us a bite. Yep. I'll tell you what, we get we get no respect here, Dave. <laughs> okay, Dave Scott, Jeff Morrow back here at the Johnstown War Memorial. It's three to one in favor of Beaver. In front, Trombetta after that puck. Trombetta circles behind the play. Danny Miller picks it up. Danny, but Danny Miller looking to clear it up the ice. And a Baisu down along the boards. Fine Richmond hemming Beaver in. Miller, Miller tries to clear. Kleinlin at the point. Kleinlin chips it down. Loose puck, clear. Oh, and he had a good chance. Hawthorne moves it up along. Kleinlin, Kleinlin with, with Fine Richmond moves it up along the boards. He's looking to dump it into the Beaver's on. He's able to do that. Hanson leaves it in behind for Spagnola. Spagnola along the boards. Nenevisu over there. The younger Nenevisu. And Miller corrals it there for Beaver. And he's going to clear it off the boards. Hawthorne, one man back against Fowler. Hawthorne waits for his, waits for his trailer. Moves it. Nice little pass there to Brian Tell. Brian Tell, oh, weak angle. Had a chance there. Conlon clears it off the boards up to Nenevisu. Nenevisu moves it to Cradle. Cradle. Up to Kukaruna and works it into the zone. The noise back there for Beaver. 219 remaining in the second. Hawthorne. There's Slipper. Slipper. Slipper in over the line. Slipper. Kukaruna. Stolen there by Spagnola. Spagnola steals the puck. And it's cleared by Wagner. Here comes Cradle back for Pine Richmond. Has the puck. In escape, can't find it. Where is it? Spagnola clears. I got it, we got it, they got it. And Spagnola found it, and he, he cleared out his own big play there. Well, that's the same, Jeff Cradle coming in, stepped on the puck, had a nice opportunity, but after he stepped on the puck, just could not regain composure to uh, get a shot off. Morgan moves it along the board. There's more, oh, a little, little confusion there. Kukurita has it. Shoots it to the net, Hanson with it. He says no, covers up. Boy, almost a big mistake there by Beaver, D Dave. All right, the Bay Ray will recover. 125 left, Jeff. Uh, no chance to panic here. A lot of time left in this game. If uh, if Pine Richards get another goal here to cut the lead going into the second or going into the third period, be a big plus for them. We'll see what happens with 125 left. Okay, we're back to action here. 125, face off to the right of Bob Hansen. Beaver Bobcats in, in control of this one, three to one. Pine Richland has a lot of offense, and uh, Beaver shutting them down today. They're only giving up 11 shots. Uh, let's see what happens here. Pineland back at the point. Tip the net, Hanson gloves it. That was a bouncing puck. Everyone looked like it had eyes on it. Hanson grabbed it, and uh, we have another face off, this time to the right of Bob Hanson. Oh, he's not really there. We'll have to knock on, on the locker room door and ask him for the Hanson. Had a chance to see the dog that saved Johnstown today. They had it fenced in over there. 
looked a little snug since it's made out of cement. Kenny Trombetta picks up the puck for Pine Richland. In over the line, Krupp. Picked up there by Dustin Hawthorne. Hawthorne, in over the line, Hawthorne. We have something behind the play. And we got a holding call, I think it gets Dougie Miller. He's holding Trombetta, and there's that second referee catching that thing. He got, Dougie got caught with his hand in the cookie jar there, Dave. Right, the play was all the way down, going into the other zone, and that penalty was called somewhere down behind the goal line, right where the Beaver goalie was, way behind the play. First circumstances, that would have never been called or even seen, but uh, for the fourth referee, they could pick that up. Okay, we're going to have a face-off up at center ice. 101 remaining here in the second. Pine Richmond going with the big line. Nenabaisu with Kenny Trombetta, Jeff Kukuruda. They'll have Doug Cradle and, and Randy Bauer at the points. Big, big power play here for Pine Richmond. They need to establish something. Right. They, they really need to get a goal here before the end of the period. This will be a big, big plus for them, Jeff. Here's Trombetta. Trombetta in over the line. Trombetta makes a little move of a shot. And it's shot at wide. Nenabaisu. Nenabaisu with the puck. He's bumped there by Danny Miller. Danny Miller with it. Tries to clear, Randy Bauer intercepts. Randy Bauer down the slot. Oh, takes a big shot and slotted away. Cradle, cradle. Stopped by Nenevaisu, Nenevaisu. Stopped down by Danny Miller. Danny Miller had it, and he clears. 29 seconds remaining in the second. Minute 26 in the penalty. Kukuruda winds it up in his own zone. Comes out over the line. Dumps it away, we could have an icing call here. Boy, that was, that's a big icing there. 18 seconds left. And I'll tell you, with Miller on the ice, I don't know if they're going to leave Miller out, but, uh, you know, that, that, that's a mistake you can't have. You've got to get that puck over the red. Right, Jeff. I tell you, one of the things I'm really, really impressed with today is the quickness of Beaver, how fast they are. Never really thought quick they were. They're an excellent skating team. Okay, they have uh, Ryan Morgan out here with George Moore, Adam Krupp, and Sean Benoit on the defense to kill the rest of this period in the penalty. Nenevaisu, Nenevaisu moves the puck over the line. Here's Bauer, Bauer. Bauer moves it in over the line. 10 seconds of the period. Shoots towards the net, Hanson makes the save. Nenevaisu goes in hard. Ryan Morgan in after it. Looks like we're gonna get out of this period with a 3-1 three, three lead for Beaver. Shots in the period, or after two periods in favor of Beaver, 17 to 12, three to one. And we're gonna be back to cover the third period. Jeff Morrow alongside Dave Scott and our technician Doug Hack. We'll see you in the third period. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Third period of action. Pine Richland with one goal and Beaver with three. New Jersey, two. Dan Miller. Three. Okay, we just had a final score. The Penguins beat New Jersey three to two. Okay. Back to action, more important thing. Doug Cradle up over the line. Dumps it in behind the beaver net. Dustin Hawthorne in there to get it. Kukuruda, Kukuruda, 33 seconds remaining in the penalty. Kukuruda with the puck. Nenevaisu with the puck. Nenevaisu battling Benoit there. Benoit, a big defensive play. Bowler keeps it in. Nenevaisu, he walks to the net. Nenevaisu in on goal. Big save by Hanson. Rebound, there is no rebound. Big chance for Nenevaisu there, Dave. Early in the third period. Uh, that would have been huge for Pine Richland to cut the lead to one, but uh, it still remains 3-1, Jeff. 17 seconds left on the penalty. Okay, and as you know, coming up next, Sarah Catholic will be playing against the Bishop of Court Crimson Crushers. And you hear the shakers down there. Pine Richland trying to get their troops up here. They're going to need to get a goal, Dave. Absolutely. This is critical right here. Great hustle by Trombetta. He moves to Kukuruda. Kukuruda ahead. He shoots and he hits. He could have hit the scoreboard on that one. Okay, Trombetta. Teams are at full strength. Trombetta with the wrist shot. Blocked in front. Tell after it. Tell has the puck. Kept in by Nenevaisu. Miller clears. And we're going to have an icing call. With 13.46 remaining in the third period. Beaver three. Pine Richmond one. Faceoff will come to the left of Bob Hansen. Actually, to the right of Bob Hansen. Uh, 
Okay, we're back to action. We see our wonderful league reps down there. They're doing their village people impression. Okay, Swan, back to the point. Shoot the wide, carry, carry up with the puck for Beaver. Those are the sign of the times, Dave. Village people are what, about 88, 89? They're still popular. Wagner moves it up off the boards. Fodor with it, Fodor moves the puck along. A little too far for Trombetta. Spagnola over to Krupp. Krupp can't reach it. Trombetta is after him. Trombetta looking to pin him against the boards down there. What's going to happen? Where's the puck? One by Fodor. Fodor wins the puck. Back to Swan. Swan moves it down along the boards. Too far for Trombetta. Schwer. Schwer in, in front. Oh, and nobody home. Krupp grabs the puck and moves it up to Ryan Carey. Carey in over the line. Dumps it into the Pine Richmond zone. In behind Danny Mills. Mills holds on to the puck. And they're going to have a face-off. <laughs> Double A championship the last couple of years. Uh, we can't even remember that Thomas Jefferson won it the last three years. But prior to them winning it, uh, back in 1997, it was Erie Keith Cathedral Prep. The Ramblers uh, went on, and they, they won the state championship. And prior to that, the, it was Bish, or the Greensburg Central Catholic Centurions under Butch Marietta. Here's Denavisu. Denavisu over the line. And we have Dougie Cradle. He's down on the ice. We're going to check it and see if he's all right down there. Pine Richmond folks were yelling for a penalty there, but uh, I didn't see the play, Dave. You see what happened? Yeah, it looked like he may have caught a knee there, Jeff, but uh, a little bit of a a little bit of pain right now. Cradle's a big part of that team. He scored some big goals for Pine Ridge, and they're going to need him. Face off will come just outside the Beaver line. We have 12.45 remaining. Beaver looks like they're in control of this one. Pine Ridge needs to step it up, and they need to get a goal quickly. Kukaruda comes out. He'll be with Nenevice and Kearns. And for Beaver, we have Miller, Miller, and Hawthorne. It's a big task for Kukaruda and... Uh, then a vice soon turns here. They're going to have to keep Beaver off the board with this big Miller Miller Hawthorne line. Conlon face off. Dumps the puck into the Beaver zone. Danny Miller back there to crowd for the Beaver Bobcats. Danny moves it up off the board. Bauer bumps the puck. Moves it along. Here comes Dustin Hawthorne. In over the line. Takes a wrist shot. Shot it wide. Hawthorne gets his own puck. Conlon down in the corner. Dougie Miller making him work hard. No pinning against the board for a face-off with 12.20 remaining in the third period. Beaver three, Pine Richland one. It's going to be important here, Dave. I think that Pine Richland needs to establish some pressure against Beaver. Uh, they haven't been able to get established in that zone. And, uh, you know, they're going to have to make some quick work and get some establishment because we're running out of time here, a little over 12 and a half minutes to go. Well, that's true, Jeff, but there's still a lot of time left with 12-18. It's not crucial yet, but they need to get a goal in the next nine minutes here to cut it to one. Oh, there's a, there's a shot that's wide. Kearns in after it. Danny Miller down there working hard on the board. Miller and Flenner, they have Kearns tied up there. Referee wants him to move the puck, and he's going to blow the whistle. Yeah, I, I, I think so, but I'll tell you, the, the one thing I sense here is the Beaver is having their own way with, with getting the puck out of their zone quickly, and Pine Richland needs to establish something. I'm not saying they need to score right away, but they need to get established in that zone, and they haven't done that. Right, well, for the first two periods today, there's been no question. Beaver's been the quicker team, but uh, as I said earlier, Pine Richland's undefeated this year, and there's a reason why, and uh, I look for them to be very strong here in the third period. Okay, Kenny Trombetta moves in against Dougie Miller. To the left of Hanson. Beaver wins the faceoff. Looks like this goes up the ice. We're going to have another icing call. Faceoff to the left of Hanson. Trombetta picks up the puck. Conlon. Conlon has it. Danny Miller, he's going to move it along. Conlon throws deep to the play. Miller still up to it. Bauer intercepts and moves up ice. Here comes Schwer. Schwer over to Trombetta. Trombetta in traffic. Over to Schwer. Schwer down in the corner. Looking to move the puck behind the net. Trombetta in after it. Trombetta's going to get there first. Trombetta with the puck. 
Trombetta. Stolen by Hawthorne. Down to Schweer. Schweer with the puck. Moves up in behind the low, in, in the net. Zach Malone on here for Pine Richards seeing his first action of the afternoon. Trombetta. Trips up Dougie Miller. Nothing called. We got a penalty behind the play. What's the call going to be? It looks like Beaver's going to the box here. Interference call on Danny Miller. I didn't see the play, Dave. Apparently, uh, Danny Miller had an interference call. I didn't really get a good, uh, good view at it either. Uh, I got all these cable wires in my face. Oh, you and the cookies, the cookies and the, and the cable wire and the potato chips are getting in the way. We got to make sure Dougie's well fed over there. He's running out of energy. We're wearing him down. We got a lot of time left here. We got 11.07, but the turkey is on the table for the Pie Richard Rams Day. Yep, here's their opportunity they were looking for right now. The boy, the boy, moves the puck. Kept in the <laughs> Cradle to Trombetta. Trombetta with the puck. They're in the back suit. In the Trombetta. Trombetta with the puck. In front of that. Back in front. Cradle to the big toe. And it went wide. Evans in after it. Bauer's going to beat him there. Bauer beats him to the puck. Who's, who wants the puck? Who wants it? Who's got it? Big strum down in the corner there between Beaver and Pine Richmond. And the gentlemen will prevail and have cooler heads and will have a face off to the left of Bob Hansen with 10.42 remaining, a minute 36 in the, in the penalty to Danny Miller. Not only this, is this a big penalty because Danny Miller is a good penalty killer. So it's going to be up for the Ryan Morgans, the Brian Tells, and the, and the Dougie Millers to kill this penalty. And uh, Cradle's back in the ice uh, after he came off earlier with uh, what looked like to be a knee injury. Well, that's good to see. They're going to need him. Okay, Hanson covers it up. And the Pine Ridge with Faithful are starting to yuck it up about the right Rams. Let's go, Rams. Chance. This is a very important point of this game, I think, Dave. I, I just think that, that Pine Richard's got to come up with something here, at least establish some pressure to, to get a chance for a goal. Absolutely. That's the key thing here. If they don't score, at least to be able to pick the play up to get some pressure on to establish themselves so they can get back in this game here. Bauer at the point. Moves it into Kukuruta. Kukuruta down below the goal, goal line. Nenebaisu. Nenebaisu moves it to Kukuruta. Kukuruta along the boards. Kukuruta in the Trombetta. Trombetta walks it out in front. Kukuruta. Vinoy says no, and he clears. Mills will stop it in behind there for Cradle. Cradle moves it to Bauer. Bauer winds up the Jets. Here he comes. Moves it along the boards of Kukuruta. Ryan Morgan, nice little play over there along the boards. Block it off. Cradle. Cradle moves it to Trombetta. Trombetta over to Kukuruta. Kukuruta in over the line. Looks to set the play up. Kukuruta, good patience. Takes the puck down along the boards, moves it over to Trombetta. Trombetta with the puck. Pressured there by Krupp. Kukuruta with the puck. Kukuruta with the puck. He's in behind. He moves in and out. Looking for looking to move the puck. Trombetta's gonna get to it. Nanavisu didn't see it coming. Benoit clears. 25 seconds left in the penalty. 9.30 remaining in the third period. Beaver, 3-1, leading over Pine Richland. Icing's waved off. Hansen has the puck. He's going to clear it around. Over to Fodor. Fodor intercepts. Fodor shoots it in front. Nenevisu. Nenevisu with the puck. In behind the net. Over to Kearns. Kearns. In behind. Nenevisu. Nenevisu with the puck. Carey. Hawthorne moves it along, up to Miller. Miller in over the line. Miller back to Hawthorne. Hawthorne, a big drive. Just went wide. Fodor, Fodor up over the line. Kearns, Kearns with the puck. Stolen there by Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Move the puck along. The Conlon, Conlon. Randy Bauer, Bauer moves it out to center ice. Magnolia with the puck, moves it to Miller, and there's an offside call. With 8-10 remaining, score three to one Beaver.
Face off to the right of Hansen. Morgan takes it, moves in against Cucuruta. Cradle grabs it. Magnolia's going to get it. Slipper. And it by pass. Cucuruta. Hansen juggles it. And he's got it. Uh, okay, face off to the left of Bob Hansen. With 7.59 remaining, Beaver three, Pine Richland one. Pine Richland hasn't really had the pressure they need, Dave. No, that last power play they had, Jeff, they consistently tried to work low and they could not beat the Beaver goalie. Still 3-1 lead. There's an attempted breakaway attempt, and we're gonna have an icing call. Yeah, I don't I don't think they use their points real well on that. It, it just they they didn't establish the pressure. I think that's gonna be a big point in this game. I think Beaver can carry it home here if they can get the puck out and get the territorial advantage, Dave. Well that's why you keep seeing a lot of icings here in the third period, Jeff. Beaver Bobcats right now getting a little bit of trouble, and when they do, they just ice the puck, at least keep that clock ticking for a little bit, regroup and come back. Okay. Back to action here. Nenabaisu moves the puck along the boards. Cradle's got it, moves it to Kukaruta. Good back check there by Brian Tell. Spagnola, Spagnola moves it over. Hanahan has it, Hanahan has it, moves it up. And Flenner grabs it there for Beaver. Here's Hanahan, he drives it deep into the Beaver zone. George Moore back there to pick it up for the Beaver Bobcats. Moves it up to Brian Tell, a little too far for him. Gazzo back to Pick it up for Pine Rich from behind his own goal. Moves it up the boards, Nenevaisu, Nenevaisu. Moves the puck wide to Cradle, Cradle to Trombetta. And Beavers clogging up that neutral zone now. They're, they got that third guy back, Dave, and it looks like they're, they're not gonna give him a lot of chances here. Right. Trombetta, Trombetta, looking to do it all himself, but he's not gonna get out of his own. Here's Nenevaisu, Nenevaisu up over the line. Here's John Benoit, Sean Benoit in over the line, a big drive and a save by Mills. Hanrahan clears the rebound. Benoit keeps it down deep. Ben Evans down below, Carey with a puck, Carey along the goal line, Fodor, Fodor. Teams are working hard down there. Ben Evans, nice block by Hanrahan. Here's Schwer, two on one. Benoit breaks up the play and a good play. Hanrahan keep it in, but Miller chops it away from him. Benoit carries the puck. Up to Danny Miller, good head man pass. Miller in over the line, around the D. And it's broken up there by Swan. Swan chips it off the board. But Slipper meets him there and he takes the puck away from him. Miller with it, Miller. And the puck's frozen up by Danny Mills. Hein Richard almost got caught in the line change in there. Kenny Trombetta had been on the ice for a, a long extended period of time. And uh, when he came off the ice of that line change, Beaver came in and almost scored there to put the game out of reach. Yeah, I, I think another goal here in uh, Pine Richmond's in re real big trouble, but they're gonna need to, I, I think the territorial advantage is now shifted down to Beaver, but Beaver's establishing the pressure in the Pine Richmond's zone. Again, I, I said it before, I, I continue to be very impressed with the quickness of the Beaver Bobcats, very quick today. Hawthorne, Hawthorne with a drive, shot it wide. Bauer clears it out. Nana Baisu fighting along the board. There's Bauer, Bauer over the line. Tripped up there by Hawthorne, nothing called. Kukaruda in over the line and an offside call. Smart play there, uh, number 28 for the Beaver Bobcats. Uh, Adam Krupp lost his stick, was in his own zone, and uh, had the wherewithal to uh, Hand it out of the zone, and then uh, Pine Richland got called on offside. But uh, excellent play by Krupp. Heads up. I've been I've been impressed with Krupp as well, uh, Dave. He, he's played very well. He's normally a forward. They moved him back to defense. He's played very well here today. Not a lot of size, but a lot of lot of guts and uh, very good skill. Conlon, Conlon with the Pine Richland Rams. And the clock is in the favor of Beaver right now, Dave, because we're winding down almost five minutes and there's a two goal lead. Ryan Conlon back at the point. A little flip shot and Hanson's got that one. He was able to see it, but it, it, the time is starting to tick down. 
Yeah, that last play there, that was almost the identical type of play that Pine Richard scored on earlier in the game. Uh, with 5.13 left, Jeff, we're getting to the point where it is getting critical. Pine Richland needs a goal here in the next two and a half to three minutes uh, so they can cut this lead and uh, get, get something to work with during the last few minutes of the game. Okay, face-off to the left of Bob Hansen. Doug Miller in to take the face-off against Kenny Trombetta. Pine Richland fans are yucking it up again, and they, they need to get some, something to happen here very quickly, and you know, it might have to happen on this shift. Prop in behind the goal. Prop. And there's Danny Miller to pick it up. Danny along the board. There's Hawthorne. Hawthorne up after the play. Crowd there by Andy Bauer. Wagner. Wagner moves it ahead. Prop makes a nice little play. Trombetta. Trombetta moves it ahead, but Prop's right there. Bauer back to, circles back in his own end. Moves it up to Trombetta. Trombetta's looking at three, three uh, crimson jerseys there. It's, it's, uh, Beaver is playing good defense. They got that third man back, Dave. Boy, they've been all over him, too, most of this game. Kenny Trombetta, one of the leading scorers in the PIHL, and uh, has been shut out today on the scoreboard. I, I think they've played excellent defense, and, and Bobby Hawthorne seems to be getting the line matchups against Brian Rich. Yeah, absolutely. That's one reason why they've been very successful here today. Okay, Dougie Miller in to take against Trombetta. We got a timeout with 4.41 remaining. The Pine Richland Rams down three to one. Beaver Bobcats, 4.41 away from a trip to Haverford, Dave. We'll be back. We're back to the faceoff. Kenny Trombetta moves in against Doug Miller. Miller wins the faceoff, moves it back. Randy Bauer, 4.36 remaining on a winding clock in the third period. Bauer picks it up behind his own net. Little collision there with Kukuruda. Miller along the boards. Benoit up. Benoit, Benoit with the puck. And he just muscles his way, and they get the puck into the Pine Richland zone. Big play there by Sean Benoit. I'll tell you, I was impressed with this kid. He has a big size, but he has nice skill. Miller, Miller with the puck, with a steal. And it's poked away by Dougie Miller. Dougie Miller with the puck. Conlon went down to block those two. That was, they were two nice plays there by Ryan Conlon. Here's Flanner. Flanner moves it back to Benoit. Benoit just clears it up. Benoit's a kid, big size, big, and, and uh, he's, a, he's a rough customer, but I'll tell you what, he has nice skill. Yes, and now those previous plays are Ryan Conlon, two excellent plays to keep uh, Beaver off the board. Puck in behind the Beaver gun. Flanner, Flanner with it. Wagner, Wagner down below there. Trombetta clears it down behind the net. And there is Dustin Hawthorne to pick it up for Beaver. Conlon, Conlon keeps it in. But Hawthorne clears. 3.26 remaining. Ryan Morgan back in his own zone on a delayed offside. Winds it up. He's going to bring it up. 3.17 remaining. Beaver, the, the, the time's on their side right now. Swan, Swan in behind the, the net. Carey with a drive and a save by Mills. Then a Vaisu up the cradle. Over to Kleinlin. Kleinlin moves around. Intercepted by Tell. Then a Vaisu. And Beaver can taste it right now, Dave. Absolutely. I look for this. Uh, Beaver does not, or Pine Ritson does not score, Jeff, in the next maybe minute and a half. I look for Pine Ritson to pull their goal. There's about a minute and a half left. Well, 2.41 remaining, so we're going to see something happen. Hanrahan with the puck. Lines it up in the Pine Richland zone. Moves it ahead to Cradle. Cradle in over the line. And it's just moved back, and Krupp's just going to clear it. Out of danger. Here comes the Miller, Miller, Hawthorne. Oh, Dougie Miller with a steal. Dougie in on goal. Oh, and it just, Mills made a great save there. Wagner. Brian Tell along the boards. Nenevaisu with it. 2-10 remaining. And what are we going to have? We got a penalty against Pine Richland, and I'll tell you what, that was that that was ill advised, Dave. Uh, bad, bad penalty by uh, number 91, Swan of Pine Richland. He was just intent on uh, harassing uh, Dougie Miller there in the zone, and uh, basically with that penalty, that's going to be extremely difficult for Pine Richland to come back now. Well, I'll tell you what, Dougie Miller is a great, he's an intense player. He's relentless, and he can frustrate the best of them. And uh, you know they're going to come out here with a power play. 
Believe me when I tell you that they, Pine Richmond might not see the other end of the rink for the rest of the game at this point. But we'll see what happens. Trombetta's on the ice, so you never know. Time of the penalty, 209. 209 on the penalty. Swan in the box. Miller, Miller in behind the net. Miller just controlling that puck. Dumps it down below the goal line. They're just going to play a little cycle here. Spagnola back to the point. Here comes Bauer, Bauer, back with Kukuruda, two on two. Bauer in over the line. Bauer looks for Conlon, Conlon, and Krupp cleans up his own end and he grabs the puck. Up to Hawthorne. Hawthorne, three on two with Doug Miller and Danny Miller. Hawthorne in over the line, back to Miller, in front, the shot in the goal! Brady Miller starts the trip to Haverford for the Beaver Bobcats. It's four to one with a minute 37 left. A beautiful play by Destin Hawthorne, set up Miller, and Beavers on their way to Haverford to meet the winner of Archbishop Carroll and Central Bucks West. Great performance here today by that line, but all the Beaver Bobcats up and down the line. Uh, they did a tremendous job today. Hein Richland, a great, great season. Uh, just unfortunate their season has been this way, but well, only one team can win in advance. Uh, Okay, Ryan Morgan in to take the face off against Trombetta. Cradle, along with Gazzo. Gazzo in over the line. Dumps it deep into the, into the Beaver zone. On a winding clock with a minute 27 remaining. Trombetta, Trombetta in front. Around, in front to Gazzo. Gazzo with the puck. Looking to make a move. And Beaver just packing in right next to Hanson down there. Shots in the game are 20 to 15 in favor of Beaver. In front, there's Kukurana. And Hanson says no with a minute seven remaining. Beaver is a team that, uh, you know, a lot of people picked before the season that they were going to be the team to be here. Uh, everybody, this is a senior laden team. But I tell you what, I give a lot of credit to Bobby Hawthorne. He's done a great job keeping this together and keeping these kids focused. He's done a tremendous job, Zach, and uh, what can you say? He's got two quality teams here today, and uh, it'll be fun to see what Beaver does next week. Okay, Krupp on the faceoff, dumps it out of the zone, and we're down to a minute to go. Carey in on goal. Oh, he just missed. Here's Hanrahan, Hanrahan behind the net. Trombetta up with it, Trombetta. Moves the puck up the cradle. Vinoy. Kukuruda, Kukuruda, in over the line. Broken up there by Krupp. Krupp's played a strong game, Dave. Uh, excellent job, I tell you what, he's been very, very impressive today. We're down to 32 seconds, and the Beaver fans are on their feet. They can sense that they're headed to Haverford. Cradle in over the line. Oh, he hit the post, a big drive. Gazzo. Stolen by Tell, but Wagner cleans it up. We're down to 16 seconds. We're down to 13. Kukaroot up over the line. Benoit has it. Benoit, and he's just going to bang it down deep on goal. Danny Mills and the Beaver fans are on their... And here they're held it under the Haverford, the Beaver Bobcat. They're at 19. They're the 2001 Penguin Cup champions, and they maul Bob Hanson down there. That's the second time I did that. But look at those boys down there. We hope nobody gets hurt. Congratulations to Bobby Hawthorne. Congratulations to Pine Richard on a fine season. The Beaver is headed to play the, the winner of Pine, of Archbishop Carroll and Central Bucks West. A great moment for Beaver hockey. 10 years since their last championship. And a great job by Bobby Hawthorne. And, and the boys are very excited down there. And uh, it was great covering with you today. We'll be back for the Bishop of Court game and the, and the traditional handshake. Many of these kids know each other from playing hockey against each other. Great job by Beaver today. Yeah, it was a fine game. And I'll tell you what, it's uh, Hein Rich is a little disappointed at getting their first loss of the season here, but uh, just a great, great season for them. Excellent game today. And uh, what can you say? Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. The final score, the Beaver Bobcats headed to Taverford for the state finals. Four, and the Pine Rich and Rams won. Thank you very much, and have a safe drive home.
Ladies and gentlemen, stick around for the awards presentation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the presentation of the awards for the PIA General, Kathy Santoro and Larry Kemper, and Jeff Morrow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the runner-up of the Penguin Cup, Double A Division. Final Richland Rams. Number one, Jason Dunham. Number 23, Dan Mills. Number 54, Dan Dago. Number six, Jonathan Schwerer. Wearing number seven. John Hanahan, wearing number 10, Randy Byer, wearing number 11, Michael Kearns, wearing number 17, Jeffrey Kukaruda, wearing number 18, Matt Wagner, wearing number 20, Tony Navaza. Wearing number 27, Kenny Trompetta. Wearing number 28, Pat Nicholas. Wearing number 44, Nick Gazzo. Wearing number 60, Nick Novazia. Wearing number 67, Ryan Collin. Wearing number 71, Adam Fedor. Wearing number 82, Zachary Malone. Wearing number 88, Douglas Crudell. Wearing number 89, Adam Kukuru. Ruda, excuse me. Wearing number 91, Justin Swan. Wearing number 96, Matt Kreza. Head coach, George Reed. Assistant coach, Mike Carlson. With four. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner up for the Penguin Cup Double A Division, your Ryan Richmond Rams. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Kingpin for the Double A Division, the Beaver Area Bob